Hi guys, I'll show you how to use Urban Transitions package. I'll start from the very beginning, from importing videos to a project, aligning them together and applying the transition. Let's save here two videos. I'll import one of them to the new composition, and I'll import second one, maybe right here. For right now, these videos are not very aligned and connected and I want the transition to be from left to right. So, first let's flip the videos. You can press S and you need to uncouple the scale value and then enter minus 100. And you can do the same for the second video. Okay, so now they are moving from left to right but I don't like how this video starts. I want the transition be probably right here. You can press control bracket actually alt bracket on the keyboard and it will stream the video. And you can align it. As soon as the man looks at the screen we will add a transition right here. I would probably scale the second one a little bit more. Now we uncouple them. I need to couple them back together. So we can scale X and Z at once. Maybe like this. I think I like it. Before you apply the transition you should make sure that video is moving in the same direction, so the transition will look smoother and the scale should be similar as well. Out even make it a little bit bigger. Ok, now let's go to pack manager. You can press ctrl p to search. Let's type, two letters ut, it will find open transitions. Actually let me refresh my license. If you see this by now button it means that your licenses were not refreshed. If you already own this package, you can just go and press account and refresh purchases. Now your license is refreshed and you can import something. You can press the play button to see the animated items instead of been unposed by default. In our case we have a green jacket and I want something to match with the jacket. I would say maybe yellow or red. Yellow could be fine. Let's try yellow. And since this is a road I would want to see the car probably moving. Every time you import, manager checks that your animation is up to date and let's take a look. You can press B and N to adjust the work area and press 0 on the numpad. Well, I would say it's a little bit fast and a little bit long. I could probably trim it. And see if it's better. It's still too fast. I could probably slow it down. If you press Ctrl Alt T you can adjust his keyframes and timing. So this is makes it a little bit slower. Or you could always go ahead and try some different transition, maybe something slower. I guess I still would like to use the car, let's just find something different. Let's try this one. If you hold Alt, you will replace the existing transition and you will preserve all the settings. Let's play it one more time. I think the keyframes I had, they, they were applied to the same transition. It's a little bit more subtle than the previous one and I would probably make it bigger. And probably adjust it. Let's take a look. I still don't really like it. Yeah, this is a little bit better. So you'll have to play around with transitions. Well, I know what's wrong. It, it's in a different direction. Maybe it will be better. Yeah, so you see that. The guy is moving to the right and the transition is to the right. Now this looks a little bit better. Play around and see how it looks and feels for your project. Let's go over to the Premiere Pro. I'll try to do it a little bit faster. So you can create a sequence from the clip, and you can type flip and apply horizontal flip. And you can do the same like this. You can find our extension under Window, Extension, Pack Manager. And I think it's really good that I'm doing it on the fly and fixing some problems that come up. Instead of just dragging and dropping, it's an experiment, so let me know what you think. If it's better or should I just drag and drop and see the final result. Because some other companies they they make it look like it's super easy but we still need to do some work even if in this pre-made assets. Again control P, find the package and you see it's already up to date and the license is already refreshed. And let's try the green one again. 
Now as you see, all of those transitions are video files with transparent background and you can use them in any video editor. I'll show you how. So I would also apply maybe flip to the video. And you can see what I press on the keyboard so you can replicate it. Actually I like this a little bit better since the green jacket will appear right after the bus. Yeah, it's perfect. I really like this one. So you see it's the same two videos, the same direction, but just by playing a little bit around. This result is almost perfect and you still can apply some color correction using some of our LUTs to make these two videos look like they were shot on the same street. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I think it's really good. And I promised you to show how you can download our transitions to use in other video editors. We have the standalone software where you can preview and download anything you'd like. And the same, Control P, Urban Transitions. And now you can press download and you'll get the video file and then you can use this video file in any other video editor of your choice. And since these are pre-keyed video files with transparent backgrounds, it will work just the same as I showed you in After Effects in Premiere Pro. Let me know about this new format, how you like when I'm brainstorming live and hopefully it will be helpful. Thanks for watching.